All right, let's paint a picture for you. You're stopped at a traffic light behind a daydreaming driver. The light turns green. How long do you wait before you give them that subtle or not so subtle <laughs> tap on your horn to let them know they should get moving? I tackled that question in the latest edition of Driving Me Crazy. Do you use your horn? For sure. I definitely, every day. How often do you find yourself using your horn? Unfortunately, daily. <laughs> do you feel that people in the Pacific Northwest use their horn too much, not enough, or just about right? Too much. Not too enough. Much. Not enough. <laughs> According to a new poll from Pemco Insurance, horn honking, once considered a very un-Northwest thing to do, is on the rise. Today, nearly two-thirds of drivers think it's at least somewhat appropriate to honk your horn, and that's compared to 49% back in 2017. I think it's appropriate to use a horn to let the driver in front of you who's looking at their phone know that the lights change. Many of you agree. In fact, 20% of the people in my Twitter poll say they'll wait two seconds or less to sound off. What's the first thought that goes through your head when somebody's honking at you? what I do? <laughs> what happened? Do you think horn honking is an effective means of communication? Yeah, I do. There are, of course, other reasons people honk. The road rage kind of stuff where people honk their horn and then they drive by you and gesture at you and, you know, give you dirty looks just for regular kind of road behavior, like, you know, trying to get into a lane. <laughs> I'm not really appreciative of people that honk their horns because they don't want to engage in cooperation. Here's the state of Oregon's position on honking. Use your horn when needed. And it could be dangerous when used unnecessarily. While some feel the when needed part is up to interpretation, you could, in theory, be cited for improper usage and subject to a $170 fine. Then there's the tunnel honk. So that's a thing. It's a thing. I don't know where it came from. I just remember being a kid and we, we, my dad would say we had to put our hand on the roof. He <laughs> would honk the horn the whole time through the tunnel. I don't know if it's the echo or if it's that someone told them, you know, years beforehand, if you honk when you're going through the tunnel, you have good luck. It's possible in the old days with single track tunnels, the honk was a good warning to drivers on the other side and helped avoid collisions. To some modern day drivers, laying off the horn is just good manners. When's the last time you used your horn? Oh boy. Um, I feel like it's maybe been a couple years. Yeah. That's a long time. Kind of nice. <laughs> I love Years. the way she delivers that. I'm kind of nice, darn it. <laughs> yeah. Two years, that's crazy. Two years. Okay, so one little nugget to drop in here. By the way, if you're a little too heavy handed with the horn honking, uh, my mechanic tells me that you can actually do a little damage to the apparatus in your steering column, namely the part that holds the airbag. Oh, wow. And that is an expensive fix. Yeah, can't so you got to be really laying on it regularly. Maybe like this person next to me. I don't know. <laughs> no, you know what? Like, I do the little kind of the little hint, yes. hint tap, know, you know, at do. lights. Because um, I think that is helpful, like you were saying earlier. Yeah. But I am, like, legit afraid of, like, road rage situations. Oh, you're going to no doubt. make you someone definitely mad. Don't wanna, definitely don't want to up the ante. So yeah. we were out in rush hour yesterday and people pile on with honking because one person couldn't quite make it through the intersection about that much was like out in the intersection. Everybody who went by just laid on. We're like, yeah, they know they're in the intersection. <laughs> they can't move. And then you can't back up because someone's right. right behind you. So no, totally. it's just like, what if we outlawed honking and we just force people to get out of their car, just walk up to the window? Because you would never treat uh, somebody <laughs> like that. Like I, at the grocery I don't store think I would. Uh, I don't think I would want anybody coming up to my car <laughs> no, like that. No, I, yeah, I appreciate a subtle little toot if I'm, you know. But of course, I'm always paying attention, so I never need that. But in any right. event, you I want to know be. what drives you nuts on the roads. Post your comments, your photos, your videos. Bonus points for those on my social media, or you can email me. Most of these topics are your ideas. See McGinnis at KGW.com. I love it. And we're going to be chatting about this on Sunrise Extra. That's our live streaming after show on our KGW Facebook and YouTube pages coming up here in about 10 minutes. When Ryan